Nearly 50% of American parents say they'd prefer their kids not enroll in a four-year college. As a mom of three, as a entrepreneur, and as a person who has a doctor of pharmacy degree, I absolutely agree. Like I am not in the space or the mindset of encouraging my kids to go to a four year college. Um, I think this original creator meant that she didn't feel, or maybe the public doesn't feel like they should go to four year colleges, they should go to community college. While I do see that in the past, that was a great strategy because I mean, let's be honest, the amount of money that four year colleges and degrees charge for a for your education is insane like when i went to pharmacy school the the tuition back then when i started in 2012 was over fifty thousand dollars a semester so i get it people think they're going to save all this money and their kids are going to be much more well off if they let's say take their gen eds you know at the community college and they go to a four-year university that was the plan, you know, for people in my generation, just to cut some of the costs. Now we're saying just completely skip the four year college and go straight for the community college. And while the, I think that will save some money, I think we need to get more extreme than that. At this point, approaching 40, as somebody who spent, you know, more than 10 years of her life in school post high school to earn a doctorate degree, um, I understand that the way that I can work now at 40 and the way that I could work at 20 while I was in school, you know, doing those overnights, partying and waking up early in the morning and being at eight o'clock classes and stuff like that type, that level of hustle is just not in me anymore. And not because I don't have the mentality, like at this point in life, I'm mentally moving a lot of things around, but physically it's just not the same. And I find it very, um, let's say backwards that as a culture we are asking our children to give literally the period of time that they are able to work the hardest we are harvesting that and we're giving that to four-year colleges and universities which have promised us that when we get out after we've invested in ourselves and our education that we'll be able to make the type of money that we want to make but we're seeing that that is not adding up there are people out here with four year degrees that are struggling and I'm gonna be for real with you. There are also people here with doctor's degrees um, who are actual, you know, physicians and lawyers and stuff. They're not, they're not doing much better than a lot of other people, okay? And it's because the crippling amount of student loan debt that they have to take on in order to gain those professional titles. So for me, here is my strategy. And you know what? Leave your comments and your opinions. I'd like to hear some of them for you. But, but here's my, Here's what I want my kids to do. I would like to start them off at 18 with, say, maybe a piece of property or a savings. Um, have our kids live with us until they're old enough to start purchasing their own properties. And just allow them to not sit around the house and not do nothing, but learn a trade so that they can start building businesses and they can learn how to make a dollar or put a dollar in their pocket on their own. Now, while they're living, you know, still at home, and I plan to get some land. We're not talking about living in my house. We're going to build them some, some houses on the back or whatnot so they have some sort of, you know, ownership over their own place. But while they're living with me, no, we're not, we're not doing bills and stuff like that. We're going to take that money and we're going to start investing that. Whether that be in real estate, whether that be in investing back on their business so that they can scale and now they can make, you know, a livable wage and then maybe one day more, a more luxury income. They'll have all those years of hustle and grind, you know, that we have from our 20s to let's say like 32, 35 or something like that. They'll have all those time to literally invest back on themselves instead of buying into a system that's always going to keep them broke. Because, I mean, if you think about it, we, we could have been retired. All of us could literally be retired by like 30, 35 if we had have turned things the other way around. We literally came out of high school as kids, signed death row contracts of, you know, tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars, okay, and ended up in debilitating debt before we were even entered for real, for real into the workforce. That's insane. And at the very end of wasting all those good years, you know, um, in the hustle and the grind, trying to earn a piece of paper that signifies that we can earn a specific amount 
when all you can do is really just find that specific amount in a business or a trade or investments um i think it's ass backwards <laughs> and i think um as millennials or my generation and generations um coming after me they're going to find out the hard way but we all don't have to